Today I'd like to talk to us about uh, Luke chapter 13, um, basically the chapter of uh, the book of Luke. And I was really uh, reading um, this wonderful book yesterday and it was such an amazing encouragement um, to me. Now, Jesus spoke many uh, wonderful words, but what really caught my attention was uh, and the latter part of Luke 13, which says, um, you will look for me and you will not see me, and your house will left to you desolate. I want us to think about this very carefully. Uh, Jesus, dear friends, I want to look into it practically and reasonably. I think that men um, don't like to use their reason when it comes to the truth. Not many men like to reason out uh, the truth. And, you know, sometimes I wondered and we, Maybe sometimes we don't even think about reasoning, but it's a purpose that God give us reason. The reason why God give us reason is that he wants us to come, let's reason together. That's what Jesus said. Let's reason together. We need to use our reason. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white. He said, Let's reason, which means we need to use our reasoning. And so I would like us to reason and uh, the word of God, which God's word said, your, your house will left desolate to you. Why is this? Now, the word of God is the source of life. It's a tree of life, right? We know that. And religion and traditions uh, and man's philosopher, philosophies and theologies, that comes from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. We understand that. Now, God said that if we eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which means if we focus and live our lives based on our traditions and the tradition of men and based on the church culture, we shall surely die. Now, you may have uh, been doing this over the years and many of us, and we am a victim of that because I grew up in the church and I started to come out and find out that, oh gosh, I was not following the word of God. And no wonder why I was uh, miserable and there wasn't any peace within me. Because the Bible said, the wicked is like the troubled sea. The wave of the sea, there's no rest for him. Now, if you don't have peace on the inside of you, it's because your heart is wicked. Now, let's reason together. If you are eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, that will give you a bit of knowledge. It will make you feel proud and puffed up and it will elevate you. It will not elevate the word of God. That's just the bottom line of it. When we look within the church circle today, are we seeing people focusing and worshiping the word of God and seek to follow every word that is written in the book of God and seek to obey God's word? Or are we just seeing people uh, seeking to promote themselves and following the clergy and following uh, do doctrines of men? This is what we see. Now, that is an abomination to God. We know that. Let's reason together, dear friends. Now, God hate these things and God said, now come from among them and be separated. God has a small flock. And I wish today that we will understand this and we will be a part of his small flock. 
The other thing I want to talk to us about <clears throat> is uh, what I said earlier, that uh, Jesus said, because you did not hear what I said, Jesus be, uh, was te teaching the Pharisees and teaching the people and in, in, the, in the book of Luke, and he was telling them um, how he, 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 he has been through many, many corners. He talked to them, he reasoned with them, he told them that no one lights a candle and put it under a bushel. He talked to them about many parables. He, he just showed them the word of God and he began to reason with them. And it's just like they weren't listening. And, uh, you know, at the end of it, uh, Jesus said, uh, your house, I'm going to go. And your house is going to left to you desolate. Now, Today is no difference, you know, dear friends. Don't blame the Jews too much because God is saying to us that his word, Jesus, is living on the inside of us. Jesus is living in us and every day the word of God is challenging us. And if we fail to obey and take heart to the word of God, what will happen is that Jesus is going to say, you know what, I am going and you're going to look for me. You're going to look for conviction. You're going to look for uh, to hear the truth and it's going to be away from you. And now your house will left to you desolate. Is it, that is a worrying thing. And I'm seeing in the Christian arena, there are many people, houses, their hearts, their souls have been left desolate. They want to find peace and peace, there is no peace. And so they hold on to their rituals and their traditions. And um, because they're, they were slothful, they were uh, uh, presumptuous, they kept on doing the wrong things. They kept, they knew within themselves that it was wrong and it wasn't of God and they were presumptuous enough to continue in sin. Now, Jesus removed himself. He removed himself. And so there is no... Um, hunger for God anymore. You don't want to hear repentance. Today, people have gone away from repentance. In the book of Luke chapter 12, Jesus said, if you don't repent, you will likewise perish. The purpose of being a Christian is that you and I need to repent. And if you don't repent, dear friends, if you don't turn to God with all of your heart, your house will left to you desolate. Is that true with you today? Is there anybody out there that can hear the word of the Lord? Do you have an ear to hear? Hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Turn to God with deep repentance. It's not just you going to perish. It's your family, your children, because they're watching you. It's people around you. You will be the cause of the damage that happened to your own self, your own children, your own family your own friends, your own colleagues, they will perish because uh, you are not shining your light enough. It's not that we all um, is going to be an, uh, bear an account for people who don't serve the Lord, but what I'm saying is that we are responsible to either uh, show them the light and let them turn to God or uh, just allowing ourselves to follow them and be a part of them. And then that just digs the hell deeper. If you don't repent, you will likewise perish. But if you let Jesus Christ in your heart and let Jesus come inside of you, then he will take out the demons and the sin will not destroy your house. But if you fail to obey Jesus, dear friends, and you fail to let Jesus take our sin out of your heart, sin will come and continue in you and you will left desolate. What a worry. What a worry. Take heed, dear friends, to the word of God. Walk good.